Yelena Ostapenko. Yelena Ostapenko is a Latvian professional tennis player. On 12 June 2017, she reached her best singles ranking of world number 12 in the Women's Tennis Association and peaked at world number 33 in the WTA doubles rankings on 1 May 2017. At the 2017 French Open, Ostapenko became the first player from Latvia to win a Grand Slam tournament and the first unseeded player to win the French Open since 1933. In addition to her singles career, she has also played as a member of Latvia's Fed Cup team. She has won seven singles and eight doubles titles on the ITF Tour, and also won the junior singles event at the 2014 Wimbledon Championships. Ostapenko is known for her highly aggressive playing style, including powerful inside-out ground strokes and a tendency to aim for the lines. Early in personal life Ostapenko was born on 8 June 1997 in Riga, to former football player Jevgeny Jostapenko and Yelena Jakovleva. Jevgeny played professional association football for FC Metalur Zaforizhia in the Ukrainian city Zaforizhia, where Yelena's grandmother still lives. Yelena has one half-brother, Maxim, who lives in the United States. She was introduced to tennis at age five by her mother, and idolized Serena Williams while growing up. She also started dancing around the age of five, going on to compete in the National Latvian Championships for ballroom dancing. At age 12 she chose to focus on tennis and now credits her good coordination and skilled footwork to her years of dancing. She speaks Latvian, Russian and English. 2014 Wimbledon Junior Champion and Pro Debut Ostapenko won the singles event at the Junior 2014 Wimbledon Championships and was ranked the number two junior tennis player in the world in September the 2014. She made her WTA Tour main draw debut at the 2014 Tashkent Open, having been awarded a wild card. She played as Rayleigh Shaharper in the first round, defeating the former world number 11 in straight sets. In round two, she lost to Russian Ksenia Pavak. 2015 Grand Slam main draw debut At the Ladies Neva Cup, Ostapenko went through qualifying and won the biggest title of her career until the 2017 French Open. During the process, she managed to cause upsets over Olga Gavortsova and Alexandra Sasnovich. At the Prague Open, Ostapenko lost in the final round of qualifying to Olga Gavortsova before heading to Slovakia for the Empire Slovak Open. There, she upset world number 82 Janina Wickmeyer and world number 63 Teresa Smykova before losing to world number 95 Danka Kovinic. At the French Open, Ostapenko lost in the first round of qualifying to Russian Vera Dushevina in three sets, and this ended her clay court season. Ostapenko began her grass court season at the Top Shelf Open, where she surprisingly fell in the final round of qualifying to Jessica Pegula. Ostapenko then participated in a Ilkley Trophy, but lost in the second round to Anat Kontaviat. At Wimbledon, Ostapenko defeated the ninth seed Carla Suarez Navarro in straight sets in the first round before losing to Kristina Mladenovic. The only WTA event Ostapenko played before the US Open was the Istanbul Cup. She managed to get past qualifying, but fell in the first round of the main draw to Kirsten Flipkins, only able to win two games in the whole match. At the US Open the same year, she beat Annika Beck in the first round, but lost her second round match to Sara Arani. In September she reached her career first WTA final at the Coupe Banque Nationals, where she lost to Annika Beck. In the process, she upset number 3 seed Mona Barthel, 
succeeded for the first time at a WTA event. Ostapenko lost in the first round of the Tashkent Open to Serbian Bojana Jovandovski. She then lost in the qualifying rounds of the generally ladies Lintz and the Kremlin Cup. She ended the season as the world number 79. Her first top 100 season, reaching her first WTA final, and having her first top 10 win. 2017, French Open champion, top 20 debut. Ostapenko started her year off with a semi-final appearance at the Auckland Open. Seeded 7th. Ostapenko beat Marina Arakovic, Mirjana Lucic Baroni, and Madison Brengel in the first three rounds. She played Lauren Davis in the semi finals, but was forced to retire in the third set because of illness. Her next tournament was the Australian Open, where she advanced to the third round of a major for the first time losing to Carolina Pliskova in three sets despite serving for the match in the third set. She then played at the St. Petersburg Ladies Trophy, where she lost a lucky loser Donna Vekic in the first round. However, Ostapenko won the doubles title, partnering Alicia Rosolska, after losing in the first round of the Dubai Tennis Championships to Wang Qiang and reaching the quarterfinals. Of the Mexican Open, Ostapenko had early exits in both Indian Wells and the Miami Open. At the Charleston Open, she reached the final by defeating Anna Bogdan, Maria Sakari, Fanny Stoller, Caroline Wozniarski, and Mirjana Lucic Baroni. She lost to fellow 19 year old Daria Kasatkina. Nonetheless, her performance led her to a top 50 return. After her final in Charleston, Ostapenko entered the main draw of the Stuttgart Open as a qualifier, losing in the first round to Coco Vandevgen. Despite her singles run, she won the doubles title alongside Raquel Atawo as the pair defeated Katerina Strabotnik and Abigail Spears in the final. Her next tournament was the Prague Open where she lost in the semis to eventual runner-up Kristina Pliskova. At the French Open, Ostapenko, then ranked 47th in the world, defeated Luisa Quirico, Monica Puig, Lija Surenko, and Samantha Stosa. She then faced Caroline Wozniarski in the quarterfinals. Ostapenko came from a set down to defeat her, reaching her first ever Grand Slam semi-final. She was the first Latvian female player to do so, and first teenager in a decade to reach the French Open semi-finals. Opposite time A. Baksinski on June 8, the birthday of both players. She beat Baksinski in three sets to make the final, being the first unseeded female player to make the final of the French Open since Mima Jarzovec in 1983 and the first Latvian player ever to reach the final of a major. In the final against third-seeded Simona Halep, Ostapenko won in three sets for her first professional title. She became the first Latvian player to win a Grand Slam singles tournament, and the first unseeded woman to win the French Open since 1933. With the win, she was assured a new career high ranking of world number 12. Ostapenko also became the first player since Gustavo Curtin to win their first career title. At a Grand Slam, Curtin won his first title. At the 1997 French Open on the day Ostapenko was born. Playing style, equipment, and coaches In a 2017 article, Steve Tinure of Tennis.com described Ostapenko's mentality as sea ball hit winner. Eurosport labeled her style as risky, aggressive, fun tennis. Ostapenko moves opponents around the court by aiming long strokes at corners and lines, then changes direction to hit powerful winners. After putting an opponent in a vulnerable position, she will regularly seek to end the point with a cross-court forehand, a down-the-line backhand, a swinging volley, or a drop shot. 
Several journalists have noted her interest in using the entire court, along with her tendency to finish points. Prior to her participation in the 2017 Volvo Car Open final, an article on the event's website declared, Most impressive about Ostapenko is her willingness to strike big to all corners of the court, be it a cross-court laser or a bowl down the line winner. One of her main weaknesses is an occasionally high error rate due to her high-risk approach. Ostapenko hits powerfully on both wings. In a 2016 interview, Cross Court View labeled Ostapenko's backhand her strongest weapon the same year. Hartford Courant noted that she hits a lot of forehand winners at the 2017 French Open. Where Ostapenko won her first professional title, she regularly hit between 35 and 45 winners throughout her matches. Following her quarter-final performance, she attracted multiple comparisons to Monica Selish. Ostapenko said in an interview at the event that, aggressive is my style of game. After the final match of that French Open, Analysts noted the differences between her performance and opponent Simona Halep's performance. Ostapenko had 54 winners and 54 unforced errors, while Halep had 8 winners and 10 unforced errors. ESPN Simon Cambers wrote, Fear just does not seem to come into Ostapenko's vocabulary. Her ground strokes are simply massive, flat swipes of the ball that left Halep grasping at shadows. Ostapenko uses Wilson blade rackets and typically wears Adidas clothing on court. Her apparel was previously supplied by Nike. Ostapenko was initially coached by her mother, with her father serving as a fitness trainer. In 2017, she began training with two-time French Open doubles champion Annabelle Medina Garrigs. Record against top 10 players Ostapenko match record against players who have been ranked in the top 10, with those who are active in boldface. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.